Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Enter the Gungeon. Okay, so for those of you wondering what the hell this is, it's a procedurally generated kind of roguelike game, very similar to The Binding of Isaac. Speaking of The Binding of Isaac, I know I'm going to get this question, so I'm going to address it right now. Yes, The Binding of Isaac will be back in stream form. Speaking of streams, this is not streamed. I'm actually recording this. I should be asleep right now, but I can't sleep, so... Fuck it, I figure I'm gonna, you know, actually do something productive instead of just laying there in bed for like three hours failing to sleep. And we're gonna play some Enter the Gungeon. Anyway, so yes, it's a randomly generated dungeon crawler, except unlike Isaac, you use guns. Everything in this game is guns. A lot of the enemies are bullets and things like that. You can see here there's a bunch of playable characters. This is the hunter, this is the convict, yes, and this is the pilots. And we're playing as the Marine. So they all have different starting equipment and whatnot. I feel like the Marine is the easiest to play as, at least for a beginner. I don't really know. Uh, the tutorial was down there on the left and over on the right. I have no idea what that is. Some kind of shortcut or something, I think, sort of akin to Spelunky. I could be wrong. But anyway, let's jump in here and I'll explain what I know about the game. But be aware, I'm not very good at it and it's also really bloody hard. So, you know, there's that. So again, as the Marine, we start out with just a basic unlimited pistol. Every single character has an one unlimited weapon that they start with. Some characters have a secondary weapon that has a limited amount of ammo, like uh, the Hunter, for example, has a crossbow. If you look up in the top left, the Red Hearts, they're our HP, this is our armor. The Marine's the only one that starts with some armor. Uh, the two blue bullets here are blanks. If you press, uh, I believe by default, it's Q on the keyboard, a blank will get used and it destroys all of the enemy's projectiles on the screen at the time. Really good to stop you stop you getting hit, you know. Uh, you do also have a dodge roll, and kind of like Dark Souls, it has invulnerability frames, so if, for example, let's say this candle right here that I'm standing on, I just kicked it, son of a bitch. Right, that candle there, let's say that's a bullet, I can go whoop and dive over the, uh, the bullets and I'll take damage. And that's a key, and this is actually coins, but as you can see, Coins are also bullets. Again, it's very gun based. Uh, so, part of the reason that I'm uh, recording this as opposed to streaming is because I have streamed this a couple of times. You probably won't see those on YouTube though, but you can always go to my Twitch channel to check it out if you wish to do so. And this is a teleporter, by the way, and yes, it looks like the barrel of uh, a revolver. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm probably not going to upload the couple of times that I played this on stream is because. I feel like I play way worse when I'm doing it on stream. I know, because I'm trying to concentrate on the chats. And also, I feel like I fail entirely to concentrate on the chat whilst playing this game, because this is a game that requires you to concentrate on the bloody bullets on the screen. I mean, you can see, these are some of the basic enemies. And they're already, you know, kind of filling up the screen just with this one fella. So, you can only begin to imagine quite how intense some of the boss fights get. And what is this? I have never seen this. He said something about my aim being true. This is like a carnival. Break the targets, win a prize. They call me Winchester, and for you, I have a simple game of skill. Would you like to know the rules? Explain away. To play this game, you have to break the targets in a certain number of shots. Right. I assume he means the blue ones, but that one's also moving. I don't know. Each shot will ricochet a few times before vanishing. Break more targets to get a better reward. <laughs> Break the targets, what a prize! I don't have the money, do I? No. Looks like your pockets are a little lights. You son of a bitch, I should murder you. By the way, I don't think you can actually murder people. Nope. They just all go around the enemies. So I guess we'll come back to that if we get enough, uh, enough money, bullets, whatever you want to call it. But yes, again, I have never seen that before. Uh, I believe there are five floors by default. I think there are some secret ones and whatnot, which I won't spoil for you, partly because I just couldn't even if I wanted to because I don't really know anything. Uh, so the farthest I've gotten is 4-3? I mean, out of 5 that might sound okay to you, but it's not. Yeah, <laughs> It's not great. And that's only happened a couple of times, so yeah. I mean, it, again, it's hard and I'm bad, so take that into consideration. So, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, you can notice these enemies are literally bullets that carry guns. The coins we get are bullets. There are many gun puns and references in here to different games and guns and things like that. Like, I think there's a COG uh, called Active Reload or something, and it's supposed to be a Gears of War reference. My chat told me that. I never play Gears of War, so I can't really tell you, but that's what I heard. 
Right, so that's just a, uh, a red heart that we can pick up. We don't need it right now, because apparently we're the greatest player of all time. I'm being heavily sarcastic right now. So, uh, the thing is, unlike the Binding of Isaac, normally you'd just be like, well, I don't need that red heart right now, I'll come back to that. It's probably going to be gone by the time we come back to it, because there's like a rat that seems to run around and steal everything. It's kind of annoying as hell. Also, I should point out these tables, you can actually knock them over and use them for cover. You can see they block bullets, but they do break eventually. There you go. Right, so. Uh, i got a multitude of directions to go in, let's just go up here. Again, I apologize if I sound kind of nasally or out of it or whatever, but again, I should have been asleep like a couple of hours ago, so that is why. I don't know how long this video is going to be, by the way. Uh, we'll see. We will see. Could just be one run, I have no idea. Depends how... Whoa, my god. How well the run goes. So somehow I dodged that, I don't know how. Let me see if we can just show you how the dodging of bullets works without, like, getting myself murdered. Alright, so let's try and just dodge one of these. Come on, buddy. Kinda, kinda like that. Let's try and do it like... You know what, this is not worth... You'll get plenty of times to see it, like, uh, on bosses and whatnot, should, should we actually get to a boss. And by the way, I know there's a bunch of secrets and things in this game. One of them I do know a little tiny bit about, so I'll say that right now, so just, you know, mute it or something if you really don't want to hear it. Uh, this fireplace here, you can actually extinguish it and then you walk in and press the activate key and it makes a noise. I don't know what that noise means, what it does, or anything. I didn't notice any change in, like, how many coins, keys, etc. I have. I don't know what it does, but it does something. Uh, apparently, usually there's, like, a, a water gun or something on the level, but if you don't get one, there is always at least one water barrel, which you essentially have to escort by, like, rolling it to, uh, to the fireplace. So, there you go. I put it out once just because I had literally a gun that sprayed water. Speaking of barrels, you can kick them over just like the tables. We haven't seen any yet, at least I don't think so, but there are explosive barrels. But you got to be real careful because if you run up to one to kick it over, uh, you know, to give you an advantage and roll it towards the enemy, they can just shoot it in your face and then you big disgrace, you kicking your can all over the place, singing, we will, we will rock you. I don't know where I'm going with this. Son of a bitch. Okay, so there goes our armor. And you notice the, uh, the... What's he even bloody called anymore? The... It's not the hunter. The marine, there you go. You notice the marine, uh, loses his helmet when his armor disappears. I don't think any of the other characters get a unique visual upgrade when they have armor. I think it's only him, I could be wrong about that. Speaking of which, if we go to the Ammonomicon, which yes, as I mentioned, there's plenty of gun puns in here, uh, you can see what things do. Unlike the Binding of Isaac, you can actually get a description, so this is our basic gun, this is our active item. So it's kind of like a spacebar item in the Binding of Isaac. If you're watching this and you've never played or seen the Binding of Isaac, you're probably like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Essentially, it's an item that either you can use and it recharges, or it's a one-time use. This one is a one-time use. As it says, it literally causes an ammo drop. Uh, so, when we run out of ammo in a good gun, obviously not our unlimited pistol, we can be like, well shit, call an ammo drop, pick it up. So, that's what that does. This is his passive item. Uh, memories of your years in training, better reload speeds, and weapon accuracy. It's not kidding. Like, if you see me shooting at this table, my bullets go pretty damn straight. Not so much on the other characters, so that's why I feel like this is a really good starting uh, character for most people. Okay, so, chest. This is where we can get uh, potentially more guns. You don't always get a gun in these. You can get passive upgrades. You can just get hearts and things. Uh, we can use a key. Uh, you can shoot the chest to break it open, but usually you'll just get junk or maybe a bit of a red heart. You, I don't think, can get guns that way, so. Oh, interesting. So we got a red heart that we don't need and a gas mask. Breathe deep. I don't know what this does. I have picked it up before. I didn't know about the Ammonomicon at the time, which I almost called Necronomicon. So let's look at this. Prevents poison damage. Oh, okay. A useful, if terrifying, piece of equipment. One size fits all. Okay. Uh, that's... I mean... Here's the thing. So far, I really like this game. But, I mean, there are a few niggling little things. It's not a huge deal, but I really love in The Binding of Isaac where if you picked up something like a gas mask, not that there is one, but just for example, you would see it on your character. It doesn't work that way in this game, which is unfortunate. It would be nice if, you know, the, up oh god, the passives and whatnot actually change the way your character looks. It's really only the armor for the Marine that I'm aware of that changes anything with the way your character looks. So again, that's a shame. But uh, yeah, I mean, 
this game is much more focused on the guns as opposed to the passives, whereas that's really the Binding of Isaac strength. And there's a lot of fucking guns in this game. Like, a lot of guns. This is possibly my least favorite enemy, at least of the early game. Good god, do I hate those ghosts. They teleport, and they shoot at you really quick, and they have a decent amount of HP. I hate them. I really hate them. Alright. That's ammo, that's armor, that's another piece of HP, and that's another gun. Don't think the regular shotgun's great, but we can buy it, and we don't have anything better. So I'm going to... Alright, don't make me regret this, or I'll come back and blow your head off. Also, shave that goddamn mustache. I really don't like mustaches. Don't get me started on that. Again, I realize I sound kind of nasally and out of it right now. I do apologize. Eh. See, that's what you can do, but it's rare that I can seem to get it over to them before they hit it. So, you know, there's that. Probably gonna try and save the shotgun for the boss, he says, and then immediately whips it out. So three shots from that thing to kill a one regular dude. That's what I mean. It doesn't it doesn't seem great, does it? Oh wait, no. Was I using the pistol instead? Maybe I was. In which case I am an awful human being and I suck. Okay, just get, get right. Yeah, the bat's suicide and kind of fire projectiles they do it, so it's best just to keep out of the way. Right. Let's have a look at the map real quick. By the way, if you want to teleport, you can teleport to any of these, just highlight it and click on it. Uh we found the boss over there. Uh, okay, this is the last direction to go, and now we do have the key for it. Now, minor spoiler here, I know there are mimics. I haven't seen one. Don't know if they can spawn the first floor, but uh, usually I'm just going to shoot a chest. What is that? Some kind of sniper rifle or something? Yeah, sniper rifle. Scope creep. Uh, it's only got 80 shots in it. Let's have a look at the Amanomicon and see if there's some kind of unique thing to it. Because some guns, you know, have ricochet bullets... Some are like laser beams, etc, etc. Low rate of fire piercing. Well, there you go, it's piercing. Uh, handcrafted by the rifle gun dead. Like undead. See? Puns. Guns. Uh, each sniper rifle performs slightly differently. Though the gungeon rarely offers many opportunities for distance shooting, this gun still rewards a steady hand. Well, I mean, I guess we'll try on the boss, but uh, I don't foresee it going that great. Now, kind of like the Binding of Isaac as well, if you floor this to the boss... Unlike getting angels and devils deals as rewards, uh, I believe it's guaranteed that you'll get an HP upgrade. And I don't think I've had an HP upgrade from non, like, flawless boss fights. So essentially, don't get on the boss, you're gonna get better gear. But it seems like you always at least get a gun and then you'll get, like, some money, maybe some keys, hearts, blanks, etc. Stuff like that. So, uh, let's do this. This is the... Bullet Brother thingies, or whatever the hell they're called. Yeah. The Trigger Twins. Bullet Brothers, Trigger Twins, same bloody thing. Alright. The snap the hell, oh my god. That is cool looking. Not kidding about the low rate of fire. So this is where you kind of want to use your blanks. Uh, one thing I didn't mention about the blanks is that, um... They actually come back between floors. Only two of them. So if I use all my blanks here, for example... Let's use one right now. If I use all my blanks here, and then I go down to the next floor after being the boss, assuming I live, uh, I will have two blanks again. So there's that. that. I just rolled straight into that. That was bloody terrible. Okay, let's uh, let's try switching to the shotgun, I guess. This is this is not good. This is not where we want to be. Not where we want to be at all. Holy crap in a handbasket. Alright, calm down, Jason. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. Let's try and get rid of the, uh, the riffraff. Oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm just terrible. So who was I doing damage to? Okay, this fella. The one with the sunglasses? That's what he's wearing, right? I think so. Oh, God. So this thing definitely doing good damage, but, uh... Okay, we're at one down. Now, I think this is, um... Apparently, I'm just going to reference Dark Souls and bloody Binding of Isaac today. This is a little bit like Dark Souls, in the sense that when one of them dies, the other one gets buffed. So, kind of like Ornstein and Smoke, if you want to think of it that way. If you're a Dark Souls nerd like me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. You, however, sir, you are not fine. Kiss my ass! Alright. So these things, they're called... He... Something or other credits? I can't remember what they're called exactly. That is not a gun. I said you always get a gun. That's a bee. Oh, it is a gun. Oh, my God. We have, a, we have literally a beehive. 
Look at the ammo clip on the rat. Holy crap. Right, so anyway. I completely forgot what I was saying because I interrupted myself. Let's have a look and see if we can get one of these uh, hearts or whatever they are before they disappear. Boop. Okay. Didn't leave any ammo or anything around, I don't think. So, wait, what is that? What's that right there? Is that armor, maybe? It looks like the Marine's helmet. Like, exactly like the helmet. Did, did I leave armor in this room and just didn't realize? Hello? I don't see it. Maybe there's, like, some deal with the table? Or maybe it's on the wall. See, again, I haven't played this game very much, so I don't really know all the intricacies, but... I mean... I swear, did, did anyone... That wasn't just me, right? And that's not where my character was. So... I'm confused. Maybe I was looking at the wrong room or something, I have no idea. So anyway, we got a new weapon. And again, I interrupted myself, so I don't know what I was saying. But you probably got the gist of it, at least I hope so. And again, we do have the ammo drop should we need it, but yes. Sniper rifle definitely seemed pretty good for taking out the bosses. Would have been better if we could line them up and make use of the uh, the piercing, but... Say la vie, such as life, you know? We're alive, and that's what counts. Holy crap. Alright, we're fine. Yeah! Shotgun of justice. And yes, this is another thing I should point out. This is a pit! Unlike the Binding of Isaac, you can't just walk into them and be safe. No, no, no. You'll fall down and take damage. It's not good, man. You don't want to get messed up by a pit. You know what? Let's try this beehive gun. Oh, okie dokie. It's not quite what I expected, but certainly very interesting. That's like, um, a necromancer or something. I feel like... I don't know this, but I'm pretty sure they put like a green arrow above an enemy's head, and then that means that enemy cannot be killed, or at least damaged, whilst the arrow is there. Uh, so essentially, he kind of protects them from death. When the arrow disappears, you can't kill them. You don't have to kill the necromancer, but it's definitely something you want to target. Also, we use so many bees in that room, good god. Those little green dudes, their grenades, they'll just run at you and explode. You don't want to be near them. You do not want to be near them. Get out of here, you sons of bitches. Eh. Heroes don't die, they just reload. I believe that's a John Rambo quote. You're, you're welcome. I think that's Rambo? I don't freaking know, man. It's been a long time since I saw Rambo. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, let's just snap the crap out of everything. Probably should keep this for the boss, but uh, I'm a fickle man. What the hell? Alright, we're flying. Don't like these cubes. Don't like them. Do not like them. That's an ammo drop. What needs it the most? Maybe the B. Nah, we'll get it in the sniper rifle. Again, we have the backup one should we need it. And eventually we will. Maybe we should save the beehive thing for the boss and we'll try to go with the shotgun and the sniper rifle for now? Alright, just use the wall to your advantage, man. Fantastic. That's a lot of dudes. Clear out some of the riffraff. Fantastic. Okay. That's another thing I like. You can see the uh, the bullets, aka money, uh, teleports towards you when you finish the room. God. Alright. And yeah, some bullets will ricochet, some of them will uh, stick to the walls and then teleport back at you. There's all kinds of crazy crap that goes on in this game. It's very bloody hard. I love the music, by the way. Love it. Ooh, that is a good looking chest. You better not be a mimic. What is that? Composite gun. Undetectable. I only got 50 shots. Let's have a look at the description. I get the feeling this thing's going to be very powerful considering that. I mean, the sniper rifle had 80 and it's pretty good. This gun is made entirely from composite materials and only holds two rounds. It was brought to the gungeon by a thoughtless agent, not realizing the affront to the gun that such a thing implied. The affront to the gun that such a thing implied. What? Excuse me, thirsty. It could just be me, and being tired, but I have absolutely no bloody idea what that means. So, you know, there's that. So this is like a cell, and these are NPCs we can save, I think. I don't have a key for that. Uh, sometimes you'll find a cell key from clearing a room. It doesn't seem to be a guarantee, though, so... We might just have to come back when we get a regular, regular, uh, regular key. And yes, these are like coffins of dead bullet people. Again, it's definitely a gun theme going on here. Gungeon, like dungeon, but with a jig. Yeah, you get it? Okay. Right. Oh, God. I kind of want to kick the barrel, but I don't want to kick the bucket. You get what I'm saying? All right. Reload that shit. This thing is so slow to reload. Oh, my God. This is painful. Okay, not good. Not good. 
Alright, uh, switch to shotgun. That was bad. We got hit. We almost lost our armor. It's not a big deal. We're doing okay so far. Actually, one, one of my better runs, which is sad. Oh, come on. That's one complaint I have. It's something like Rogue Legacy. You see the way there was an arrow down there indicating that he was off-screen shooting at me? That works. But in Rogue Legacy, there would actually be an indication for the bullets. I feel like this game could really use that, because sometimes there's an enemy shooting at you off-screen, and then you're down here, and suddenly the bullet's right up underneath you. And, I mean, if I were a better player, sure, I could probably get time to dodge that, but, I mean, that's like some some serious reflexes required there. I don't know. And yes, there are puzzle rooms and things like that, and rooms with traps, and... Yeah. Oh, God. What is this thing? Oh, that... Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That fire will hurt. You don't want to walk on that. You don't want to walk on that. I really like the sniper. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Just spawned in the fire on my face. I had no idea that dude was there. That's what I mean. Like, sometimes... Stuff like that happens, and you feel a little ripped off, but... Equally, I suck, so I can only complain so much. Alright. Well, my money... Uh, we didn't leave any hearts around, did we? knew. No, unfortunately not. Let's keep going with a the shotgun. These little purple dudes, I believe they don't do any contact damage, but uh, they do bounce into you and knock you freaking flying. So, yeah. If you're in a room with pits, they can knock you straight down them, and they have. Those things shoot out fire. As you might imagine, stand on them, you'll take fire damage. And these are literally floor spikes. If you walk across them, they activate. So, uh, yeah, you gotta be careful. Right, there's the boss. Let's go back over here and try and clear the floor, because I would love to get a key to get in that cell. I'm actually gonna switch to the sniper rifle for now. Okay, so this is a shrine. I believe you can offer ammo or bullets or uh, ammo or bullets. Same bloody thing. Ammo or guns or HP and get bonuses, sometimes they curse you. Again, kind of like the statues and shrines and whatnot in uh, Rogue Legacy. A shrine to a prideful bullet angel now, fallen. Uh, offer a blood sacrifice. That will, I think, permanently cost me a heart container. I ain't down with that shit. So I'm not gonna be doing that right now. It might just be literally, um, oh god, this is awful. I, how am I supposed to get to you over there? Eh. Eh. Kill the damn thing. Okay, it's dead. Don't get hit, Jason. Don't get hit, Jason! Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we got Selkie. Good. Good. Let's go back and do that right away before I die. Okay, over here. I forget what I was saying, but again, you probably got the point. Ahoy, matey. Well, thanks for rescuing me. I'm heading back to the breach. We'll see each other again. I'm sure of it. So, the breach is the hub base where we started, as you might imagine, and I... So far, there is an HP upgrade. They want to upgrade, but a uh, hutch down there. As you might imagine, uh, that's where the NPCs and things go. Kind of like filing Shrine in Dark Souls, because again, I'm just referencing like several games at the moment. Uh, I haven't unlocked any MP uh, any um, playable characters yet. Only NPCs. Don't know if that guy's a playable character. I have no idea. Usually they mention like, I've got a shop and I'll open it for you. He didn't say that, so maybe he can be played. That would be cool. But so far, I only know of the four characters that you start with. This is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. Hit! Don't move. Okay. And we... Easy. Just take time, man. Alright, we're fine. We are fine. Another chest that we can't open. Uh, we haven't found the shop yet. I don't know if there's always a shop on the floor. This seems to be from what I can remember. I can't recall not having a shop. Uh, sometimes the shop is locked, though. So you'll need a key for that, which sucks, because... The main reason I want a key right now... Is to actually open up that chest. See my chest? See my chest? Yeah. Get out of here. That was the worst shooting of all bloody time. Right, put the table down. Devon, get the tables. And then you die. Fantastic. Oh, great, more enemies. Just, oh, <laughs> the guy's got a sniper rifle. I have one too, buddy. Mine's bigger than yours. Oh, God, I fell down the pit. I am awful. Just trying to avoid the goddamn bullets. Yeah, screw you, you dick. Screw you. Okay, well, my table's down. Let's use our regular pistol, just because we can't. Only one dude. All right, we've got some HP back, so at least we didn't lose anything. And speaking of the sh... Uh, what? I think that's a locked door there. 
I can't tell though because of the angle. Hmm. Well, shit, I guess we ain't getting in the shop then. Uh, in that case, I'm going to go back and destroy the chest. Now, this might be a bad idea because it's possible that uh, we could get a key from beating the boss and come back and open it afterwards. Uh, however, I want what it's got right now because it might have a half heart and that might be enough to save us. If nothing else, at least we have 69 bullets, you know, the uh, the magical number. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, I am... Oh, why did you rush? Oh, I hate you. I hate you, Jason. All right. Okay. I just realized these things can't explode, so you don't want to stand that close. All right, so we got junk. Uh, sometimes there is a grate in the shop, and if you go over to the grate and drop the junk, you have to drop it pretty much directly onto the grates. There's like a little green dude in there, and he'll give you a couple of bullets for it. Maybe some other stuff, but I've only done it once, and he gave me some bullets. So that's a thing I know you can do with junk. I don't think it has any other purpose... I could be wrong. Also, why did I walk back when I can just teleport to the boss? What on earth are you doing? What on earth are you doing? Alright, well, we're done with the floor. Again, haven't gone into the shop, but seems to need a key. On the plus side, if we do get a key from the boss, we might be able to at least go back there. So, you know. Uh, what do we want to use? I guess the bees, and we'll see how that goes, and then we'll switch to the sniper rifle with it. sucks. Forget what this thing's called. Ammo Conda. I knew it. Couldn't, couldn't say that just in time. Alright. How are the bees doing? The bees, there in my eyes. I've got the bees. Alright, use your goddamn blanks, man. Don't be sparing. Just hold your finger on the trigger. Do as much easy damage as you can with these OP-ass bees. Because I'm okay with that. These seem pretty good. Mostly for the fact that you don't need to aim. Oh god, how did I not get hit? How can she slap? Oh, I was switching guns. Oh, my brain. Why can't you do two things at once? What is this nonsense? Uh, wait. Oh, there you are. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Uh, I'd rather you didn't pay. Oh, I think I got that in time. I'm not sure. I hope so. Otherwise, that was a hell of a waste. I could use the ammo drop for the, uh, the B gun, but doing that in the middle of the fight, hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's try it. Switch to the B gun. Get out of the way of my bloody ammo! Pick it up, pick it up! Alright, go, 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 go. Now muck the shit out of here. Just give me an easy victory map. I can get to floor three! That's something I don't do very often. Oh, God! He's almost dead, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Yes! Victory is mine! Alright. We got more of those credit thingies. Forgot to mention you can go back to the breach and there's like a shop. Uh, how do I describe it? It seems to be uh, that you can use those credit things to buy items that will then be able to appear in the dungeon, I think. Again, I don't really know. Ballots. Vote of confidence. That is not a gun. We have a lot of guns at the moment, so it's not a huge deal. What does it do? It's passive. This ballot is proof of participation in the democratic process. PSA, voting is cool no matter what anyone says. So what does it do? <laughs> I have no idea. It must do something, right? I'm trying to think what, what would make sense. There's a lot of things with tables in this game. Like, there's a lot of passive upgrades that, you know, uh, you flip a table, you get some coins. You flip a table, you get a damage upgrade uh, for the room. So... I'm thinking, like, ballot, ballot box, boxes on a table. Am I thinking too far outside the box here? No pun intended. I don't know. All right, so we're in the black powder mine. Again. I have not beaten this floor. I don't think I've even actually got to the boss of this floor. I found the boss room, and then I was like, I'm going to go clear a couple more rooms. Fucking died. Didn't even see it. Was really upset. So, uh, yeah. You're witnessing one of my greatest runs. That's very sad, I know, but also true. Yeah. Oh, God, I hit all the boxes. The ballot box. Oh, God, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, that's right. This is one of those fellas up there. Yeah. Get out of here, you necromancer, son of a bitch. We don't take Kelly your fuck around here. Oh my god, what happened there? Oh. What happened? The door looked like it came at me. Did anyone else see that? Or was that, was that in my brain? I don't know. Oh yeah, we haven't even tried this bloody thing. Well, really. We didn't put it on the bus. Um, I'm just going to take the ammo right now for the sniper rifle again. It seems every time I leave something and come back for it, except occasionally some half-hearts, the fucking rat just steals all my shit, so... 
To hell with it, man. To hell with it. Howdy doody. Yeah. I really love the dodge rolling. There's something very unique in uh, games like this. It's, it's very unique in most games, actually. I mean, not the concept of dodge rolling, but dodge rolling giving you invincibility frames. Or invulnerability, if you prefer. Let's try the... Oh, God. I can't switch guns and move. It breaks my brain. Excuse me. I want to try... God, I'm terrible. I want to try this gun on uh, regular dudes and see how it goes. All right. Well, I mean, it should have one-shot that guy, like everything does. I mean, it seems, or I guess it depends how much damage it does to a boss. So far, I'm very underwhelmed with uh, the composite gun. B gun, really good. Uh, sniper rifle, also pretty damn good. Shotgun, it's usable. Hit. I gotta say, the game. Ah, oh, the game's been fairly generous to us so far in terms of enemies and room layouts and whatnot. I've had much, 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 much worse. Uh, since we're nearly dead, I'm definitely going to pull out the big guns now. Pun fully intended. And, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Shroom City, bitch. Yeah. Holy crap! Oh god, I destroyed them too- oh, No! <laughs> it came straight at me! It came straight at me! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Apparently we went 27 minutes. God damn, was it really that long? Let me have a look at the recording. I'm up to like 35, it took me a few minutes to set it up, but uh... It's gonna be a bit of a short video, but that was a good introduction to Enter the Gungeon, I would say. Again, one of my best runs, so... We'll call that there. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Again, if there is more of this, it will almost certainly be recorded as opposed to live-streamed, because I find it impossible to concentrate on the chats and play the game at the same time, which isn't fair to the chats, nor to me, because then I suck even worse than I do normally. But anyway, yes! I really enjoy this game, I will happily play more of it, but it really depends on feedback. Let me know, hit the like button if you enjoy it, it shows me you're enjoying it, it helps to promote the video. Blah blah blah, leave the comments. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye everybody.